in this module we will discuss that how the cell division can be uh, blocked and the cell division as a matter of fact is blocked by the dna damage now how dna damage occurs dna damage can occur as a result of number 1 spontaneous chemical reactions in dna because dna is a macromolecule and is a chemical so there can be a spontaneous chemical reaction then another error in dna replication that is while replicating there occur some errors in the dna and the cell uh, division it stops then exposure to the radiation or certain chemicals they are responsible for the dna uh, damage now during dna damage there are different proteins very interesting proteins and a cycle is initiated these proteins they are known as the atm and atr this is not the atm which we uh, generally use that is a teller machine but these are the kinases special kinases and atm is ataxia uh, telangiectasia mutated and atr which is ataxia telangiectasia and rad3 uh, related proteins which are responsible to initiate the signaling pathway by activating the one of the pair of these proteins no cell cycle during the growth it it is also arrested and the responsible for this arrest is the various kinases which phosphorylate phosphorylate other target proteins and lead to cell cycle arrest the target proteins they are phosphorylated they become uh, act with the phosphor phosphorylated atp and they are phos phosphorylated a major target is the gene regulatory protein which is known as p53 which stimulates transcription of the gene encoding p21 a ck1 protein so you see there is a whole cycle of proteins which are related together p21 as a matter of fact this binds to g1s cdk and scdk complexes and inhibits their activities thereby helping to block the entry into the cell cycle when these enzymes darla complexes they are inhibited their entry into the cell cycle is stopped thereby stopping the cell growth another player that is the p53 and md m2 are very important and in undamaged cells when the cells are not damaged they are ready to grow or proliferate p53 is highly unstable and is present in low concentration this is very important because when the cells are undamaged when they are healthy they are growing then the p53 protein is highly unstable in those cells and is present therefore present in the low concentration because it interacts with another proteins definitely when it will interact with other proteins its concentration will become low and therefore the cells they will grow mdm2 acts as a ubiquitin ligase that targets p53 for destruction by proteo uh, proteosomes and p mdm2 is another important player in the cell cycle arrest or during the cell growth phosphorylation of p53 after dna damage it reduces its binding to mdm2 this decreases p53 degradation which results 
in a marked increase in P53 and concentrations in the cell. So you see that now, contrary to that, the P53 concentration, it increases after the DNA damage. P53 in the undamaged cells, as I said uh, previously, that is the lower concentration, but here this decreases the P53 degradation, which results in the marked increase in the P53. And therefore, P53 can be considered as a marker. In addition, the decreased binding to MDM2 enhances the ability of P53 to uh, stimulate the gene transcription. Because these all proteins, the, they are related to the DNA damage and the DNA major role is the transcription of specific proteins or the enzymes. And in this case, the P53 to the stimulate gene transcription is inhibited in this case. Now, another player, that is the CHK1 and CHK2, these are the protein kinases. They also block the cell cycle progression by phosphorylating the members of the CDC25 family of the proteins and phosphatases, thereby inhibiting their function. The inhibition of CDC25 activity by DNA damage helps block entry into the mitosis. So it means that when the mitosis entry is blocked, the cell cycle stops because it is the, cell, it is the mitosis where the cell divides into the two parts. Now this whole area or this whole arena, as a matter of fact, is related to the cancer mutations. And a low dam level damage of DNA occurs in normal life of any cells. You see, when the cell proliferate, when the cell divide, the DNA divide, it means that the chances are, and usually it happens that a low level damage of DNA occurs in normal life of any cells. It is not that it goes 100% perfect. The accumulation of genetic damage in cells leads to an increased frequency of cancer-promoting mutations. So mutation in the P53 genes occur in at least half of all human cancer cases. So we see here that the P53 is the major player during the cell growth, during the cell promotion, mutation in the human beings or in the life cycles.